Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Bulfat. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to the President of the United Arab Emirates, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan, on the UAE's 49th National Day. His Majesty wished the UAE President lasting good health and happiness and the broadly Emirati people for their progress and prosperity. He praised the depth of the strong relations between the two countries and their continuous development and growth in various fields. His Majesty sent a similar cable to the Vice President of the UAE, Prime Minister and Ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, and to Abu Dhabi Crown Prince and Deputy Supreme Commander of the UAE Armed Forces, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to the President of the United Arab Emirates, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan, on the UAE's 49th National Day. His Royal Highness, who wished the UAE President lasting good health and happiness, and the broadly Emirati people for their progress and prosperity under their wise leadership. He praised the depth of the strong relations between the two countries and their continuous development and growth in various fields. His Royal Highness sent a similar cable to the Vice President of the UAE, Prime Minister and Ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, and to Abu Dhabi Crown Prince and Deputy Supreme Commander of the UAE Armed Forces, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan. Her Royal Highness, wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women, Princess Sabika bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa, congratulated Bahraini women marking the annual Bahraini Women's Day. In a phone call with the Bahrain Television on this annual occasion, she wished the Kingdom of Bahrain many happy returns, led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. <laughs> وانا اللي سعيده الحقيقه وفرحانه اني اليوم اشارككم جميعا فرحه يوم المراه البحرينيه وفخوره بانجازات وتضحيات وعطاء كل امراه ضمن مجتمعنا واسرتنا البحرينيه ما شاء الله يعني ودي ودي الحقيقه ان اتوجه بالشكر للجميع وعندي شكر خاص لوزاره الخارجيه قيادة وطواقم عمل اللي هم الحقيقة ما أثنتهم ظروف الأزمة الصحية من توضيح مضمون يوم المرأة بالتعاون مع المجلس والتعريف به على أحسن صورة المشاركة في ضم يعني ضمن هالبرنامج هي اللي أسعدتني لأنكم أنتم اليوم تستضيفون عدد من الشخصيات من أخوات عزيزات وأخ كريم هم الحقيقة من ضمن أفضل الكفاءات الوطنية ولهم بصمات ومساهمات نستشهد فيها دوم ونعتبرها مرجع ودليل لكل مجتهد ومخلص في عطاء للوطن الله يحفظ ما قصرت ودي في الحقيقة أكرر التهاني بهالمناسبة وكل عام وانتم بخير والبحرين في رفعة وتقدم مستمر إن شاء الله تحت قيادة طويل العمر العاهل المفدى وأشكركم the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, congratulated the President of the United Arab Emirates, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan, on the UAE 49th National Day. His Highness Sheikh Nasser also congratulated the Vice President of the UAE, Prime Minister and Ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, and the Abu Dhabi Crown Prince and Deputy Supreme Commander of the UAE Armed Forces, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan. His Highness Sheikh Nasser said that. Bahrain and the UAE are linked by deep-rooted bilateral ties in various fields, which makes it a model to be emulated. He added that the celebration is an ideal opportunity to shed light on the great achievements made by the Bradley country at various levels. He said that the people in the Arabian Gulf and the UAE citizens have experienced the development, prosperity and successive achievements of the country on the developmental, economic, scientific and technological levels as reflected by the launch of 
Hope probe as the first mission by an Arab and a Muslim country to explore Mars. His Highness said that the UAE National Day is an occasion to recall with great pride the brilliant lives of the UAE founding fathers who shaped the aspirations of their people and their unity. Thanks to the sound planning by its leadership to achieve a very advanced level in development indicators. Upon the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to establish the Hope Fund to support youth projects and initiatives and invest and support the energies, aspirations and innovations of Bahraini youth to establish and own businesses and companies, the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Works and Youth Affairs, His Honor Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, issued a decision to form the board of directors of the Hope Fund. The Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs, Ayman bin Tawfiq Al Muayyad, is to head the board of directors of the Hope Fund with the membership of the following for a four-year term. Sheikh Abdullah bin Khalifa Al Khalifa as representative from the private sector, Abdullah Jihad Zain and Ahmed Yusuf Talib as representatives from the office of the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs. Abdurrahman Abdullah Shafi'i as a representative from the Bahraini Boards Company, Samir Zuhair Antonucci as representative from the private sector, and Ali Habib Ahmed Qasim as representative from the private sector as well. The membership of the board of directors shall be four years. The Hope Fund aims to monitor national skills and competencies to support young people's ideas and skills and work to discover, refine and highlight youth talents and enable them to achieve success. The BDF Commander-in-Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa received the Director General of Foreign Military Cooperation of the Pakistani Army and Chairman of the Bahrain Pakistan Committee, Major General Zahid Mahmoud. The Commander-in-Chief praised the deeply rooted relations and the developments and growth they have reached in various fields, especially in the military cooperation field. Defense Affairs Minister Lieutenant General Abdullah bin Hassan Al Naimi and BDF Chief of Staff Lieutenant General Diab bin Sagar Al Naimi were present. The first strategic dialogue opening session between Bahrain and the United States was held remotely. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif bin Rashid Zayani, and the U.S. Secretary of State, Mike Pompeo, as well as a number of senior officials from both countries, participated in the session. Dr. Zayani delivered a speech in which he expressed appreciation for the depth of bilateral relations between Bahrain and the U.S. He highlighted the Kingdom's vision for the upcoming 25 years of further bolstering relations. He stated that the Abraham Accord has changed the dynamics of the Middle East and renewed the hope for peace and prosperity in the region. He reiterated that the partnership between Bahrain and the U.S. will help pave the way towards achieving these visions. He spoke about the aspirations of the Kingdom for the friendly bilateral relations, particularly in the fields of security and economy. As Ayani highlighted the opportunities to bolster cooperation in the fields of trade, investment and petrochemicals, noting that the possibilities for for U.S. partnerships with the banking and financial technology sector in the kingdom. For his part, Pompeo expressed pleasure in launching the first strategic dialogue session between the two countries, stating that it will focus on security over various work sessions. He added that five work groups from the U.S. will meet with their Bahraini counterparts over the upcoming two weeks. He extended thanks to the kingdom, highlighting the deep-rooted relations of friendship. An official Bahraini delegation arrived in Tel Aviv led by the Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Zayed bin Rashid Zayani, accompanied by a number of officials from a number of ministries from the kingdom, in addition to a number of businessmen. This visit is the second official visit to the State of Israel. The delegation was received by the Israeli Minister of Economy, Tourism and Regional Cooperation, in addition to a number of officials. Minister Zayani said that this visit comes as a result of what has been agreed upon in the peace declaration in line with the vision of His Majesty the King to promote security, stability and prosperity. He underscored the Kingdom's status as a beacon of peace in the region. Three business group meetings were held between the Kingdom and the State of Israel to review means of bolstering cooperation in the fields of tourism, business and innovation. During the meetings, extensive discussions were held concerning the activation of the MOU signed between the two countries. The launch of several projects were discussed during the meeting in order to further bilateral economic gains. 
The Kingdom of Bahrain and the State of Israel signed three memorandums of understanding and a joint declaration covering technical cooperation, innovation and a transfer of technology, small and medium enterprises, ecosystems. The ceremony was held during the visit of Bahraini's delegation to the State of Israel, led by the Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Zayed Ben Rashid Zayani. The Israeli Economy Minister, Amir Peretz, attended the ceremony. As Zayani expressed delight at the launch of the economic relations between the two countries, stressing the importance of discussing economic opportunities in light of the potentials of the Bahraini and Israeli economies. For his part, the Israeli minister emphasized the importance of developing joint businesses between the two countries and exchanging expertise in various fields. During the ceremony, a memorandum of understanding on technical cooperation was signed, as well as a declaration of joint cooperation regarding strengthening cooperation in the field of innovation and technology transfer. A memorandum of understanding was also signed on to strengthen cooperation in the ecosystems of small and medium enterprises. Very glad to be here today in the State of Israel. Uh, I think uh, this is cementing further the, the agreement signed at the Abraham Accord. Uh, the first phase was to sign the accord, then there was the diplomatic ties, uh, which was uh, led by uh, His Excellency the Minister of Foreign Affairs. And I think uh, the next step now is to try to integrate and build as much economic activity into this uh, peace treaty as we can possible. So the aim of this visit really is to find out more about uh, opportunities and synergies between the Bahraini and Israeli economies and how we can facilitate uh, business opportunities for the private sector on both ends to work together. Uh, in trade or in joint ventures or joint investments or even in research and development uh, and scientific development. Uh, uh, we have uh, conducted a few meetings already uh, with government officials and uh, some of the uh, some private sector and I think the, the, the first signs are showing very positive and we're hopeful that we will build further on this relationship. This is a time of hope and a time of opportunity to both our peoples. This is a time when we can build a relationship between our two countries, but also to bring hope to the region with economic collaboration, with joint business opportunities, with innovation, entrepreneurship. We really can change the region. We can create new hope of innovation, of uh, science, of medicine. This is a time when the world is uh, struggling with the uh, economic crisis caused by the COVID-19. So from this relationship, Israel and Bahrain, we can really make a difference, build bridges of hope, strength and collaboration. After the Abraham Accords were signed a couple of months ago in Washington, uh, we signed an agreement on economic and trade cooperation between Israel and Bahrain. Um, this was the first step. And today with uh, Minister Zayani uh, visit, um, we pave, we're paving the way, we're paving the way for economic and uh, trade cooperation. We want to see how to realize the fruit of this agreement. How do we work together to enhance trade, to enhance uh, investments flow, and to, invest, um, to, in to enhance uh, business cooperation and business interaction between Israel and Bahrain. The Minister of Information, Ali bin Mohammed al ramehi made a statement to the Emirates News Agency to mark the UAE's 49th National Day anniversary, in which he voiced the Kingdom of Bahrain's appreciation of the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al Khalifa and the pride of the Arab and Islamic nations in the Emirati development process, which was laid by the founding leader, Leh Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan al Hayyan. He praised the strong fraternal partnership between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the UAE and its perpetual growth at all levels. He stressed outstanding bilateral relations and common keenness to protect Arab national security and boost inner religious and cultural tolerance and coexistence. He also praised the wise leadership of the UAE President His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan and the support of Vice President, Prime Minister and Ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum. The Information Minister commended the UAE's success and accomplishments which exceeded all expectations 
expectations with the launch of the Hope spacecraft as the first Arab and Islamic mission to explore Mars planets, citing other pioneering initiatives to support scientific and technological progress. He also pointed out the UAE's operation of the Baraka nuclear power plant to produce peaceful nuclear energy and provision of humanitarian aid to underdeveloped people, which earned the UAE international respect. The Information Minister affirmed the continuity of the Bahraini-UAE fraternal friendship and partnership supporting regional security, peace and stability. He pointed out coordination with the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and the Republic of Egypt to rally the Arab and Islamic ranks in facing foreign interferences in the Arab countries' internal affairs and confronting discourse of hatred, extremism and terrorism. The minister underlined joint efforts in backing the international scientific researchers to combat the coronavirus pandemic within the framework of the wise and moderate policy of both countries to ensure security and welfare of humankind. The UAE celebrates its National Day on the 2nd of December of each year, which today marks a process of progress and development over 49 years. The UAE's achievements began to take shape with the founder of the state, Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan al Nahyan, and his brothers, along the path of whom the UAE President His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed is proceeding. The anniversary represents an occasion to remember the long series of achievements under the banner of the state through which the citizens of the UAE carry on along the footsteps of the founders to safeguard the institutions of the state and its achievements by expressing their loyalty, values and commitment to the development process in all fields. For his part, the UAE ambassador to Bahrain, Sheikh Sultan bin Hamdan Al Nahyan, affirmed that the 2nd of December represents an occasion to remember the path that the founder of the UAE, Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan Al Nahyan, and his brothers, and to affirm commitment to it under the leadership of the UAE President, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan. The ambassador added that the deep rooted fraternal ties that connect the UAE with the Kingdom of Bahrain is based on the shared positions of the two countries on a vast range of topics and the cooperation extends to the fields of medicine and culture. He said that the bilateral cooperation had been based on bold decisions to support peace and stability in the Middle East and to confront the pandemic together through the exchange of expertise in this field. He also affirmed the cooperation in the fields of youth, culture and economy, which has witnessed a marked increase in trade, investment, finance, commerce, tourism, oil, energy and and mutual official visits on the highest levels. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 1,439 with 216 recoveries and 181 registered new cases. 91 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 81 are contacts of active cases and 9 are travel related. The Ministry urges everyone to adhere to the rules and avoid public spaces when possible.